Hello everybody, welcome back to game. This is Mike and we're about to get into episode 3 of Zombie Exodus Safe Haven. Playing the entire games, part 1, part 2, part 3. Thank you very much for coming back. Last time our adventurers had a decision to make which was whether or not to kill Zombie Joe. I didn't get a lot of votes on that, so we'll just see what happens. But I think Zombie Joe is going to face his true fate. Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate all the support for the series, and let's get into it. We can't have an infected with us, Jamie says, staring with tired eyes at the writhing creature. What if he got out of those ropes? All right. As the show stats, button. As the sun breaches the, we can't have an infected with. As the sun breaches the highest point of the tree line, your group stands before Reverend Dunbar Church's Cadillac. It's open trunk and tied up. Pastor Joe, now Zombie Joe. All right, Pastor Joe now turns Zombie Joe. We can't have an infected with us, Jamie says, staring with tired eyes at the writhing creature. What if he got out of those ropes? And Jamie says, "We can't have it infected with us. It could get out. It could bite one of us." We don't even know how the virus transmits to others. What if it becomes airborne? Madison says from the back of the circle. And we know that Madison said, We don't know how it transmits. What if it gets out? What if it's airborne? Princess is right. That thing could infect us all. Kelly says, her voice bold and severe. We don't know how this thing spreads. Princess is right. She doesn't know much. She's a kid. But she could be correct. Parker makes the sign of the cross. There's suffering. And there's this. Parker says, Oh, there's suffering. And there's this. This is so sad. To see him, man, now turn to this thing. Oh, dear God. Jesus in heaven. Glancing at Tommy, you notice him looking away from the zombie, and his hands ring the metal of his rifle. Jillian sits on the hood of the Cadillac. Everyone else is joining our group. Let's add Zombie Joe, too. Hey, let's add Zombie Joe. He could be, Zombie Joe could be part of our crew. It'd be kind of cool to be the first group with a zombie. That's a terrible idea. God would want that to be. He needs to go down into the grave to meet his maker. His maker? He's not dead yet. I doubt Joe is even in there. Driver says, pointing to the zombie. He's not the person he used to be. He's not suffering because he has no thoughts and feels nothing. He doesn't feel anything, Driver says. He has no thoughts. I mean, he can't be feeling anything. Look at him. He's all torn up. And he's been in that trunk in the heat and the sun. If he was a normal human, he'd be dead already. You have a good point, driver. All of you have good points. But the point here is we need to protect the safety of the young people with us and yourselves. We are the only survivors out here. And we can't take a chance on, on an affected person getting to any of us. Just one scratch, one bite. It could be airborne, like Madison said. It could be anything. We have no idea. But we know one thing for sure. If it bites you, you're pretty much dead, and there's no way we can stop that infection. This is the Rev's thing, Woody states. He should take care of that infected how he sees fit. He's the only one been wronged. But I feel like he should take care of it himself, Woody says. Kill it already, Riley calls out. When you turn to gaze at him, he nods his head at the trunk and mouths the words, do something. Just kill the thing, Riley says. As the group calls out their opinions on how to handle the situation, you. Step aside, church. I'm not letting that thing live for another second. I say and kill the zombie. Radio button, check, one of nine. All right. Now is our time to decide what we're going to do. Again, I encourage all of you, if you want to help make decisions in this game Let's Play, you can leave your opinions in the comments and they will be considered. Church, we can't keep a zombie with us like this. It's too risky. Either you kill him or we will. Radio button, uncheck. Two I nine. say we just get it, make a command decision. Step aside, church. I'm not letting that thing live for another second. I say and kill the zombie. Radio button, check. One we're going to do that. The first decision. Church, step aside. It's dying right now. Oh, no, no. Please, my brother. Please, please don't kill it. it needs to, he needs to suffer for what he did to me and my wife. He has dishonored me and God himself. He was a preacher. He was a man of God. And look what he did. Please, let him suffer. Let him join our party. Maybe he can do some good. Maybe he can help bite and infect others. Just kill him already, Riley says. Church, we, church, what do you want to do? Church, you can do what you want. Church, you have, we shouldn't kill Pastor Joe. Let's keep Joe tied up. We order the group to detain church and kill the zombie. We should vote on how we want, order the group to detain church and kill the zombie. We should vote on how we want to handle this. I say, radio button, uncheck, night, next, button. 
All right. Next. We should vote on how next. Button. Let's go next. Before you can leave. Before you can leave. Button. You advance towards the trunk. Raise your sledgehammer. Step past church and bash in the top of Zombie Joe's skull. Blood splatters a bowling ball case nearby in the trunk. <laughs> The Reverend does nothing to stop you and speaks no words as Pastor Joe's on life ends. I know what I did to Joe wasn't right, but I was in pain. He committed a sin and a betrayal. My best friend, my pastor, and he tempted my wife. They lay together in the house of the Lord. So you all have to understand my mind was overtaken with rage. I didn't mean to put all of you in danger. This man, he lay with my wife on all bed, on all bed of matrimony, disrespected himself. My own wife betrayed me, stabbed me in the back in front of the Lord and God and our neighbors, shamed me, made me feel like less than a man. I just wanted him to pay any way I could make him pay since there was no other way to hurt him. I thought this would be the best way to get revenge. Sorry, it was probably... Selfish, very, it was selfish of me. In fact, it's very selfish. I apologize. Please forgive me. Church shakes his head and brings his gaze down to the corpse of the zombie. What I did was wrong, and it put you all at risk, he says, his voice more even. I ask for your forgiveness. I won't act so selfish again. You put an end to his suffering. It was the right thing to do. No one responds or moves at first, but as the moments tick by, the survivors wander away. Parker remains near the reverend, and soon the two carry the body to the roadside. Nathan brings two shuttles from Rachel's trailer so Church and Parker can bury Joe. Let's bury him. Thank you, son. I appreciate that. It's the right thing to do after what I've done. God bless you. You're welcome. Maybe you can be our reverend church since we don't have a man of God around here. Before you can leave, button. No one responds or moves at first. Before you can leave, button. Before you can leave, button. No one responds or moves at first, but as the moments tick by, the survivors wander away. Parker remains near the reverend, and soon the two carry the body to the roadside. Nathan brings two shuttles from Rachel's trailer so Church and Parker can bury Joe. Before you can leave, but before you can leave, no one responds or moves at first. Before you can leave, button. No one. Church shakes his head and brings his gaze down to the corpse of the zombie. What I did was wrong, and it put you all at risk, he says, his voice more even. I ask for your forgiveness. I won't act so selfish again. You put an end to his suffering. It was the right thing to do. No one responds or moves at first, but as the moments tick by, the survivors wander away. Parker remains near the reverend, and soon the two carry the body to the roadside. Nathan brings two shuttles from Rachel's trailer so Church and Parker can bury Joe. Before you can leave, button. Before you can leave, button. Jamie, the mighty glow of the great orange ore coats the road with heat as it rises, and you welcome any breeze for a momentary reprieve. If the weather channel was still broadcasting, they would be reporting a heat wave in Colorado. Strange world, a week ago, snow covered the ground. Then again, a week ago the dead weren't walking the earth. Your team of survivors moves to their vehicles to continue the journey to parts unknown. As the chorus of starting engines rises, a loud thunk sounds from the lead vehicle. A hissing sound spreads from the supply truck, followed by steam shooting from its front end. You rush over as Jamie pops the old metal hood and the white plume puffs in the air, followed by a stream of darker air. Damn it. What now? What now? Jamie shouts, his voice rising in frustration with each word. Damn it! Oh, God, not again! This thing is overheating! The duty there must be overheating like Hades' balls. What he says as he peers into the engine block. We should oh, have it's overheating! It. Turn it down! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Jamie taps the engine and yanks his hand back from the surface. Oh, the radiator must be broken or something. I don't know much about repairing vehicles. To make matters worse, one of the hoses has a huge hole. I'm guessing that's a big problem. Ah oh, man, it's got a big hole. Ah, oh, just... Yeah, it's bad. Maybe we can salvage one off of one of these crashed vehicles. You suggest. All right, guys. We need to salvage the holes, right? What else do you need? That's possible. We need to find out if anyone here knows about cars. Jamie wipes his oily hands on a scrap of cloth. We, is anybody here know anything about cars? Anybody? Mechanic here? Police officer? Somebody? Race car driver? Hey, Kelly says as she strides towards you. Jamie and Woody, that guy from the field over there, the one you were talking to. Game, anyone know where he went? Hey, uh, Game, where's that guy? The one we killed his girlfriend? The one you hit with Thumper? I don't know. Is that, has anybody seen him? You mean Finn? No, I haven't seen him. You say, glancing past Kelly at the last spot you saw the man. Finn? I think his name was Finn. I don't know where he was. He was there for a second. Kelly pushes a hand through her long hair, using her fingers like a comb. As the thick hair moves, it reveals a tattoo in a small straight line on her scalp, a Victorian filigree of wire and lace in an intricate design. He's gone. None of us saw where he went. What was up with that guy? Him and the girlfriend were part of this car wreck. She got bit, Woody says, folding his arms across his chest. His hands fidget for placement as he speaks. Wound up we had to give her mercy. His love couldn't bring him to do it. Got to respect him for it. He was a good boyfriend to her. He couldn't kill her. 
I mean, I don't know if I could have killed my own girlfriend or wife or child after them being infected. It took a lot of guts for him to even think about it. Yeah, but where is he? All right, we need to find him. Everybody look around. Look for Finn. He was the young man that was on top of that hill. He's probably around here looking around or feeling bad. He, he's so far, he's friendly, so don't hurt him, please. Let's just go talk to him. Well, he sounds like a good guy then. I wonder why he left without saying a word. Kelly leans on her hip and rubs her chin with the other hand. Yeah, he sounds like a good guy. I mean, there's no reason for him to run away. He should join us. Rachel darts up to the groove. Sorry to interrupt, but Finn is gone. He took one of Nathan's backpacks, some supplies, and his rifle. I thought they were secured, but he snuck them out. Rachel twists her lips to the side, and her eyes narrow. I'm quite surprised he was able to do so right from under our noses. He left no tracks, too. Finn took something. Rachel comes running over. He took our supplies. He took a backpack and some other stuff. Ah, uh, god damn it. Ah, uh, we should have known that, Woody will say. Riley. God damn it, we're losing supplies. We need to start watching things a little bit careful. Rachel, what are you doing over there? Why are you blaming me, Riley? Why don't you help? We should stop arguing. Calm yourself, princess. This is above your pay grade. Let us adults handle this. That's very disrespectful, just because I'm young. Yeah, young and dumb, as they say. Let's keep fighting what we need to find collect all supplies yeah like riley said let's get everything we need we'll come across finn and when we do he's gonna have to answer for stealing supplies but didn't we steal his supplies woody would say well woody i feel like we did a service to help him out we need to keep everything together he can join us we're not preventing him from doing that but he just can't take off with our stuff and leave guess we're starting to make our own laws huh game well woody somebody has to make the rules somebody has to make some laws we just can't have anarchy out here we know he's gone kelly scoffs we were just talking about it jamie pushes off at the supply truck and sops up sweat with a rag over his forehead right now finn's not our concern this steaming engine is our problem we're stuck the engine is right we're not moving until it's fixed not like we can call a tow truck excuse me everybody says jamie but we need to worry about this engine we don't have AAA out here, and we certainly don't have anybody that has a tow truck. So we need to get this thing fixed. We need parts. We need a hose. We need a hose for a larger vehicle. But anything will do. Any of these disabled vehicles, maybe we should make a person responsible for scavenging as many parts as we can. At this point, we need to start thinking that everything, every vehicle, and everything we come across is something we should salvage everything up. And carry it in what, says Riley. Well, what I feel, everyone, is we need to determine which supplies we, we need to keep. Let's keep, of course, any water, any food, any weapons, bullets, guns. That's a priority. Water, food, especially. There's no supermarkets or anything around here. Secondly, any parts, matches, kindling, lighters gas anything like that those are things that we can use but you need to store them carefully i want rachel to be in charge of the supplies kind of like our quartermaster i want one of you assigned to watching her back when she's dealing with supplies she's not going to be able to watch her back very much so one of you who has a good rifle hand who's got a good sense in his head or her head you need to keep an eye on her back how's that sound rachel sounds good to me I mean, I'm sorry, I was just distracted by Zombie Joe. Well, I mean, sorry, church. It's okay. He's he's gone to the next side. We just buried him. I'm, I'm sorry for what happened to you. But I was distracted by that, and I guess that young man was just kind of a bit of a thief. It's no one's fault. Don't worry about it, Rachel. Well, it's somebody's fault. We are quite exposed out here, Rachel says. Anyone can come from either direction along the highway. If we're stuck, we need to move to cover. I'll gather everyone up. I'll start gathering everybody up, game. We're really exposed out here. We've been here for a long time. What if people do come by who can help us? Parker says as he moves closer to the small circle you created by the smoking supply truck. I know it's the minority opinion, but good people are still out there. And every slasher horror movie starts with a car breaking down and people going into the woods. 
Well, you know, they say every horror movie starts with everybody running toward the woodshed or the basement, which is where the killer usually gets you. Now, there are some good people out there, folks. Could we maybe think about not shooting or hurting everyone that comes into contact? Yeah, but we need to make sure that they're not infected. Yeah, I agree with that, everybody. We just can't let anybody into the group. Now, what we need to do is think about if they've been bit or not, and they're not going to tell us. So we need to be very careful who they let in. So everybody, if anybody's going to join us, we need to see them and look at them and inspect them. Make sure they're not bitten. If they have any wounds, we need to know if that wound is infected or not. I know this is a lot to ask, but that's the only way we're going to live. Why can't we all just decide on our own what we want to do? Kelly states, some of us can stay with the cars, some can go to the woods, or whatever. We're all smart people who can make up our own minds. Well, what I feel is we shouldn't have to just wait for you to make all the decisions, game. I mean, I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions. Why can't we just split up and do what we need to do and just keep a loose group and party? Why do we have to all follow the leader? What we need is a leader. Woody chimes in. He props his foot on the supply truck's front bumper. No offense to any of y'all, but you're forgetting that the most capable organizations, from small tribes to whole countries, are run by a single person with advisors. We can't run all willingly. Too many of us for that now. Kelly, no offense, but every organization needs a leader. From the government all the way down to now. Same thing goes through now. We need a leader. Somebody to call the shots. Somebody to make the decisions. We can't have 10 chiefs. The group grows quiet as everyone contemplates Woody's words. After a solid minute of silence, you say... I agree with Woody. We should gather the entire group and vote on a leader. Radio button. Check. One of five. The group grows. I agree with Woody. We should gather the entire group and vote on a leader. Radio button. Check. One of five. I agree with Woody. Since I brought us all together, I should be the leader. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of five. Fine. I'm the leader. Radio button. Uncheck. Three of five. Woody's right. You all can appoint a leader. I don't want the job. So you should decide. Radio button. Uncheck. Four of five. We don't need a leader. We're doing fine the way it is. Radio button. Uncheck. Five of five. Next button. All right. I think we're going to have them vote on a leader. I'll see what happens. I agree with Woody. We, I agree with Woody. The group grows quiet as everyone contemplates. I agree with Woody. We should gather the entire group and vote on a leader. Radio button. I agree with Woody. I, I agree. Fine. Fine. I'm the, Woody's right. Woody's right. We don't need a leader. We don't need a leader. Next button. Here we go. Mm. I know that's the fairest way. Jamie says, nodding. We should gather everyone and put this to a vote. That's the fairest way. Show stats. But zombie act. Show stat. That's the fairest way. Jamie says, nodding. We should gather everyone and put this to a vote. That sounds fair. Let's gather everybody up. Put this to a vote. You walk to the side of the road to a small clearing. The country is still, and only a momentary breeze gives relief. Off in a not-so-distant grove of spruce, the tops of trees sway apart from one another with a violent snap of branches and stirring of leaves. In the heat of the rising sun, the group finds shade in the narrow saplings or wipe sweat from their faces. Some sit in the grass or on beach chairs, while others rest in the shade of a spruce. Jamie, Kelly, Rachel, and you stand in front of the onlookers, though Jamie steps up to address the crowd. First, I want everyone to know that the supply truck is currently not operational, which is why we're not traveling right now. If anyone knows about automotive repair, please speak up after this meeting. Jamie takes a deep breath and, for a few seconds, appears to be in deep thought. A few of us, Game, Kelly, Rachel, Parker, were talking and figured this group needs a leader, someone to make decisions, settle problems, represent us to strangers, and other things. Since we're all in this together, we decided on holding a quick election for a leader. Jamie stops and glances around, and you can tell he's not sure of the next step. I nominate myself as leader. Radio button. Check. One of five. I nominate someone else as leader. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of five. We should open this up to nominations, I say, to get this started. Radio button, uncheck, three of five. All right, so what we will do is... We should open this up to nominations, I say, to plant the idea that someone should vote for me. Radio button, uncheck, four. not to draw attention to myself. I whisper to Jamie, you should ask for nominations. Radio button, uncheck, five of five. All right, we can support Jamie and see if he wants to vote for nominations, or we can nominate ourselves. Let's have him... Ask for nominations. We should open this up to nominations, I say, to plant the idea that someone should vote for me. No. Not to draw attention to myself. I whisper to Jamie, you should ask for nominations. Radio button, uncheck. Let's five ask five. Jamie, let's let Jamie Check. speak up. Next, button. Good idea, Jamie says, and he steps forward and speaks in his normal, booming voice. Why don't we open this up for nominations? Just call out a name if you think someone would make a good leader. All right, call out a name if you think that person would be a good leader. The words are met with stares of wonder and indecision. A few survivors talk in whispers, while others stare off in thought. In the far distance, a noise carries through the forest. A siren-like wine that trails off and restarts over and over and over. Jamie's a good leader. I don't I like Molly and Kelly. Game's good. Kelly's got a good head on her shoulder. Now, what about Woody? Woody's got experience and wisdom. I, I like, um, uh, I like Game. He's really good. I nominate Kelly. Woody says from his spot leaning against a shady spruce. She's smart and has a way with words. I nominate Kelly. She's got good sense about her. 
Hearing her name, Kelly steps forward. I appreciate that, Woody, and deflected. I won't let you down. Thank you, Woody. I'll make sure this place runs right. I'd like to second that, Riley says. She's great on the news. Hearing her name, I'd like to second that, Riley says. She's great on the news. I second that nomination. Well, I hope you also have a belief in my ability to lead based on my character, not just my face on the screen. Kelly speaks with vigor and looks annoyed at Riley. Yeah, sure, all that, honey, he says. By his side, Nora shakes her head, then buries her face in her hands. Brody raises his hand and stands in front of the group. I'm going to vote for game. He saved my life and Maddie's life. Heck, he probably saved most of the lives around here. Besides that, he has many skills necessary to lead this group. I vote for game. He's got skills and talents, and he saved my life. I think he's the best person for the job. I second that nomination. Jamie leans far out of line. I second that nomination, everyone. Game's got good talent as a leader. I think we're in good hands, and he's been leading us so far anyway. Thank you for the nomination. I say to Brody, radio button, check, one of two. I don't want to be leader. I say, next, button. I don't want, thank you for the nomination. I say to Brody, radio button, check, one of two. Thank you, Grody. I appreciate the nomination. I don't want, next, button, next. Thanks, guys, show stats, button. Thanks, guys, I've been running the group already, so this just makes sense. You say I'm not a Brody. I nominate Jamie, Brody says, raising his hand again. Thanks, guys, I've been running the group already, so this just makes sense. You say I'm not a Brody. I nominate Jamie, Brody says, raising his hand again. You already nominated someone, Madison snaps. I nominate Jamie, Brody says, I nominate Jamie. You already nominated someone, Madison snaps. You already nominated somebody, you can't nominate two people. Brody's voice takes a defensive tone. Is it against the rules? I don't think it's against the rule. No one made a rule. Who made you the judge? I mean, it's only logical you choose a side, like a Democrat, Republican. Then I nominate Jamie. Driver says, arms folded over his chest. He stands at the edge of the field like he's guarding it. I nominate Jamie. I second the nomination. Church says, lifting his head, which has been hanging since the ordeal at his Cadillac. Ain't nobody gonna mess with us if that man's our leader. Zombies probably turn and run the other way at the sight of him. I nominate Jamie. He's strong and he'll scare the zombies away. Jaime's laugh thunders through the countryside. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the kind words, yo. After a short interval of silence, Benji steps forward. It should come as no surprise that I nominate Rachel. I nominate Rachel. Yeah, I second it. Madison says, she's already running her own groove, so she can lead all of us. And she's British, and those people have written volumes on ruling. It's called history, people. I like Rachel. I think she should be in charge. And she's really already been running her own small group. She's really smart. Plus she's British. Next, button. Next, button. Yeah, I second. Next, button. Jay, I think we have enough nominees now. I'll keep track of all the names and votes if everyone is okay with that. Parker says and holds up a notepad. I will keep track of all the nominees and votes, everyone. Sounds great, you say. Let's have all the nominees say a few words before we vote, addressing their strengths, how they want to lead the group, and anything else they might feel would help us decide. Rachel moves into the space between the nominees and the group. I can speak first. She says and pans her gaze over each survivor with the purpose of a seasoned politician. I've been preparing for survival since word first spread of the virus. We need to work together to get through the days or weeks ahead. Most of you are ill-prepared for this sort of life, and you need someone to tell you what to do to stay alive. I can be that person. I have the skill set and determination to see us through this. Rachel takes a step back in line. A gust of wind blows dirt and bits of car debris onto the grass, and from the edge of the tree line comes the sound of squawking birds. Did she call us ill-prepared? Nathan remarks. Is she just saying we didn't know what we were doing? That we were ill-prepared? So arrogant. Benjamin nods to him with a sardonic grin. Yeah, she said that. Her skill set don't include public speaking. Dante says, his tone full of sarcasm. She sure ain't much of a personal, like, a public speaker. She sounds more like a comedian. Jamie takes a slight step forward, first glancing at the other nominees as if asking permission. I'll go next. Well, most of you know me, know I'm fair, and either treat you like family or will soon enough. Not sure I have all the things y'all might look for in a leader, but I'll be honest and loyal, give everyone respect, value their opinions, and work hard to make sure we all get through to the other side. Thank you. Damn, that goose up my skin, Woody states. That gives me goosebumps. Kelly marches to the front of the main group and strides along the line like a general before troops on the battlefield. We are only at the start of this outbreak, and we've all lost a lot. Our family, our homes, our very lives. We need someone who's going to make hard decisions to lead this group. Jaime's a nice guy, but can he make the tough calls? Rachel already has a group, so we can't be sure if she puts them first or has the larger group's interest in mind. Rachel raises her eyebrows and wears an uncomfortable, astonished look. Kelly continues, I have all the qualifications you'd look for in a leader. I've managed a team of staff to produce my top-rated news segment and podcast. Kelly at Nightfall, in college, I started an activism group of University of Colorado students, which led to blocking the destruction of acres of forest land near campus. Where they built that super Walmart. Parker asks, confused. Eventually, yes, Walmart's legal team cleared the restraining orders, but that's after I left school and turned the group's leadership over to another student. 
I like that Walmart. They have amazing sales. Nora says to the groove. Kelly puts her hands up. My point is that my leadership was effective. And if elected, I use my experience and tenacity to see us all thrive. That's it. She steps back into line as the rest of the survivors speak in low whispers. Yeah, she's got pretty good skills. College kid, smart, real smart. Yeah, but I think Rachel's a little smarter. Yeah, but what, remember what Woody said. Woody's really, he's pretty bright too. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of wisdom. What about game though? But game, he, he, he makes good decisions and he's got that giant hammer. Since all of the other nominees have finished addressing the group, everyone turns to you for your speech. You will lead democratically, giving opportunities for input from all members. Radio button, check, one of six. Plan to run the group with order and discipline, like a military squad. Radio button, uncheck, two of six. Promise to build the group as a community with the full support of all members, striving to help others we need. Radio button, uncheck, three of six. Vow to put the safety of the group first. We'll scavenge what we need but fight if we have to. Radio button, uncheck, four of six. Intent to scavenge and raid, taking all we can to survive. Strangers will be forced to fall into line. Radio button, uncheck, five, tell the group what they want to hear just so I get elected. Intent to, intent to scavenge, vow to put the safety of the group first. We'll scavenge what we need but fight if we have to. I think this is what I'm gonna say. Vow to, vow to put the safety of the group first. We'll scavenge what we need but fight if we have to. Radio button, check. Four of six. Intent, tell the, next, button. You step forward and move to a spot where you can see each member of the group and all the nominees. We've all seen the dangers of this outbreak. Even if we avoid being attacked by the infected, other survivors pose a threat. On top of that, we need food, water, and supplies. My goal with this group is simple and straightforward, to survive. You pause for a moment and look over the faces of the survivors staring back at you. How do you plan to do that? You may be asking. First, we'll focus on our safety. We need to find shelter and secure it before we start worrying about what comes after. That's priority one. Then, we need to find supplies. That means food, water, and basic necessities. Until we figure out a better solution, we'll scavenge for what we need. That's our best plan until the outbreak is over. And if it never ends, and this is our new life, then we'll set up for the long haul together. Those dangers I mentioned, well, they won't be going away anytime soon. We'll have to fight to survive, and we'll have to get good at it. Some of you already have the skills this will take, but we'll all have to learn to fight together against the dead. And the living. Now, I'm not saying we start preying upon others, looting and murdering as we please, but we will have to protect one another and our supplies. There will be no limits to what we'll do to keep our group alive. Dark times call for serious measures, and if elected, I'll keep us all alive and thriving. Finishing your speech, you see many of your group nodding and showing signs of approval at your words. Not exactly my approach to surviving the outbreak, but you gave a good speech. Jamie says as you step back into the nominee's line. Next, button. Next. Next, button. Home, back button. Zombie exit a safe haven. Show stats. Button. Ten minutes later. On the side of the Colorado highway under the heat of the sun, the survivors scribble on scraps from scavenged magazines, marking their vote for leader. If you're finished, hold up your folded paper, and I'll collect it. Parker says in his teaching voice. He walks along the line and takes each improvised ballot. Everybody, hold up your notes. If you have finished making your vote for whoever you're voting for, please write legibly and large. Only one person you can vote for. Everybody understand that, Grogan? One person. Vote for one person. Please write large and legibly, please. Hold your vote up on a piece of paper. Fold it over. Do not show your votes to anybody else. And I will come over and collect it from each of you. Please, no looking at each other's papers. You glance down at the small square of paper and lower your pen to write a name. I vote for myself. Radio button. Check. One of four. Should I vote for myself? I vote for Jamie. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of four. Should I vote for Jamie? I vote for Kelly. Radio button. Uncheck. Three of four. Kelly's got strong opinions. Should I vote for her? I vote for Rachel. Radio button. Uncheck. Four of four. Rachel's got strong leadership skills. Should I vote for her? Next. Button. I'll vote for myself. This is what I want to do. I know I can help these people survive. I vote, I, I, I vote for myself. Radio button. Check. One. I vote. I, I, ne next. Button. You, Parker collects your vote along with those of the other survivors, placing them in a van. Scavenge hubcap. He walks to the hood of his car and opens each folded paper scrap, tallying the votes on his clipboard. While he works, the rest of you sit in idle anticipation except for Riley, who marches over to watch him count. Can I help you? Parker says, clearly taken aback by being watched. Can I help you, young lady? No, just count. Sorry, I don't trust anyone. Riley says, stressing the word anyone. You notice the forest has grown quiet, except for the rustling of leaves on the treetops, the chirps of crickets, hoots of an owl, and barking of wild dogs have gone dead. It's gone too quiet, and your experience in the outdoors tells you something is wrong. When the sounds of the forest stop, trouble is brewing. Maybe you're wrong and just tired. You haven't slept in a day or eaten in whenever. As you stare across at the survivors, you see a painting of the same figure, drooping eyes, drained pallor, slouching stance. Fear and uncertainty lie upon all of their faces. And who can blame them? The road is blocked. One of your vehicles is already disabled, and you have no shelter, limited food, and no safe place to rest. Though electing a leader will help your cause, what can any one person truly do to secure your survival? Parker gathers all of the scraps into the hubcap and walks back to the main group, smiling as he steps in front of the survivors. Parker holds his clipboard high. Okay, I've counted up all the votes, and here we go. I've counted all the votes. Here is the results. And the winner is, button. The winner is, 
And the winner is Button. Rachel received zero votes. Rachel, zero votes. Kelly received zero votes. Kelly, zero votes. Jamie received one vote. Jamie, one vote. Game received 19 votes. Game, 19 votes. Which means Game is our new leader. Game is our new leader. Cheers rises. The survivors move around you for congratulations. You feel pats on your back, a few punches to your arm, and a hard clap on your shoulder from Jamie. Good job, Remember, game. I always got your back. Hey, you got a game. Game, looks like you got the game, brother. Thank you. What about a name for our group? Brody says, I used to play on a little league team, the Night Sharks. I always loved that name. It gave a sense of up. Camaraderie. Parker says, I like the idea. Stupidity? Madison? What about a name for our group? Brody says, I used to play on a little league team, the Night Sharks. I always loved that name. It gave a sense of up. How about a name for our team, everyone? Stupidity? Madison blurts out. Stupidity? Camaraderie. Parker says, I like the idea. Camaraderie sounds better. Nothing cheesy if you're gonna do it. Riley's face scrunches in worry. Something with the hard edge, like the Reapers or the Devil's Recruits. I say we call ourselves the Reapers or the Devil's Recruits. Maybe the Devil's Killers. The Demonators. What are we? A metal band. Kelly says. <coughs> are we some kind of metal band? Like heavy metal? What do you, What kind of names are those? How's that supposed to make anybody want to join us? Rachel chimes in. Traditionally, an organization's name stands for the qualities it represents. But I also fancy cute animals. Clever kittens, for example. I like clever kittens. What do you think? Game. Jamie asks. Game? You have a name, maybe? I like the idea of a group name. Radio button. Check. One of three. If everyone wants a group name, that's fine with me. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of three. I think a group name is silly. Radio button. Uncheck. Th next. Button. Let's go for a group name. Sounds like a good idea. I think a Next. Button. Great. Jamie says. Do you want to pick our name? All right. Zombie exit a safe haven. Heading. Show stats. Great. Jamie says. Do you want to pick our name? Sure, I'll pick it. Radio button, check. One of two, no, someone else can pick it. Radio button, uncheck. Next, button. We shall pick the group name. I don't know, let's do it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. All right. No, someone, sure, I'll pick it. Radio button, check. One let's two. pick it. No, next, next, button, uncheck. You choose. Too fast to feast on. Radio button, check. One of 17. Uh, don't like that. Birds of prey. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of seventeen. Sounds too predatory. Clever kittens. Radio button. Uncheck. Three Clever of seventeen. Clever kittens. Too silly. Guardians of humanity. Radio button. Uncheck. Four of seventeen. Uh, too altruistic. Merchants of fortune. Radio button. Uncheck. Five of seventeen. Too commercial. New profits. Radio button. Uncheck. Six of seventeen. Too religious. Nightfall survivors. Radio button. Uncheck. Seven of seventeen. Possible. Task four C. Radio button. Uncheck. Eight of seventeen. Two. Um, you know, too, eh, too weird. The colony, radio button, uncheck, 9 of 17. Nah. The forsaken, radio button, uncheck, 10 of 17. Nah. The greater good, radio button, uncheck, 11 of 17. Uh, too optimistic. The hunters, radio button, uncheck, 12 of 17. Too predatory? The reapers, radio button, uncheck, 13 of 17. Uh, yeah, metal. The templars, radio button, uncheck, 14 of 17. Templars is nice. Will to live. Radio button. Uncheck. 15 of 17. Uh, little too... Little too try hard. Z Militia. Radio button. Uncheck. 16 of 17. Too... Too goofy. Too TV. Something unique. Radio button. Uncheck. 17 of 17. Uh, we could make... I think we need to make... I think... Some of these names are just... The Templars are kind of nice. I like the Templars. I don't feel like typing in my own name. Z Militia, Z Militia, Will to Live, Will to Live, The Templars, The Templars, Will to Live, Radio, The Templars, Radio Button, Uncheck, the 14 Templars, of 17. The Templars, not many people know what, it, what a Templar is. Um, uh, the Reapers, The Reapers, Ra The Hunters, The Hunters, Ra The Greater Good, The Greater Good, Radio, The Forsaken, The Forsaken, The Colony, The Colony, Task 4C, Task 4C, Nightfall Survivors. Nightfall Survivors. I like that name. I wouldn't be able to think of a much better name. Nightfall Survivors, though. It's a lot of words. Survivors would just be the best. I feel like... I think the Survivors is good enough. But then it's... Uh, hmm. 
I don't know. None of these names. I can't think of any good names. Um, hmm. I like the Templar's name. It's really nice. Nightfall Survivors is too... Uh, I'm going to go with the Templars. Task Force, the Colony, Ra the Forsaken, the Greater Good, Ra the Hunters, Ra the Reapers, the Templars, Radio Button, on check, 14 of 17, check. All right. Will to Z Militia, something unique, next, button, next, button. Let's go. The celebration is cut short when the forest comes to life with a herd of deer rushing from the tree line and running along the edge of the woods. Turning to watch them, you hear the infected, and the forest opens as they march out. You draw out your binoculars and scan the coming horde. They wear the clothes of campers, road workers, and hikers, and their broken bodies sway and shuffle randomly like rodents searching through a maze. Some have dirt and mud caked on their clothes and faces, hiding the decay in a mass made from the earth. One has a torn leg, and from it sticks a tent pole which dangles upright like an insect's antennae. Another drags half its crushed body, leaving particles of its own viscera behind it. They cross the field with only low moans and haven't spotted the living by the highway yet. Their voices growl in a communion of apathy, their mouths split wide, and they call out in their inhuman language for you to join them in their version of the afterlife. <sighs> Look, from the road, Nathan yells, and more zombies shamble along the highway in the direction you were traveling. Past the accident, they walk in a multitude, and more than two score drift along the road. Look, look, everybody! With the area secured and your group already on standby, they group up near the caravan and watch the hordes slither and shamble. We need to kill them before the two hordes combine you yell. We need to split into two teams, one on the highway and one in the field. Each team focuses on killing off the two smaller hordes. All right, everybody. We need to form two teams and kill these things off as fast as possible. A slow build of anxious energy spreads through the group, ending with some survivors rushing for weapons, some standing there in shock, while others turn to stare at the oncoming undead. Wait, why are we splitting into two teams? Kelly shouts about the chatter. We can just drive away. Why are we splitting into two teams? Let's just leave. We don't have enough room for everyone with the supply truck down. Jamie says as he raises his submachine gun. Besides, most of the vehicles are running low on fuel. We won't get far. We don't have enough fuel. We gotta do this, Kelly. We gotta take them down. I'll just take the jeep and use the big gun. I'll mow down every single one, Rosie says, pointing to the mounted gun. I'll just mow them down with the big gun. We're running low on ammunition for it, driver says. We need to be careful with how much ammo we use. We're going to need that ammo. Rosie shrugs. It's up to you then, game. I can use it or not. My opinion, we should use it while we're still alive. Saving bullets doesn't help the dead. Game, we should use the big gun. I don't know, Rosie. we got to think about this. We might need that gun for future situations. That's a lot of zombies out there. Church holds up his arm to wipe his forehead, dangling the large revolver held in his hand. We should run along the highway. That's a lot of zombies. I think God would want us to get out of here. Rachel rips out a magazine from a submachine gun, checks the ammo, and jams it back in. There's no time. Once those two masses of the dead spot us, they'll outrun a number of us. They'll get us. We can't run, Church. We gotta fight. My ride is fine. So me and my mom are out of here. Riley says and steps toward his red Chevy. Man, my ride's good. I'm getting out of here. Nora crosses her arms, letting her cane fall. We're not leaving these people. Riley, damn it. You gotta think of someone other than yourself. Riley, we're not leaving them. We can fit some of the slow ones in our car. Riley hangs his head, his voice soft and unsure. We could put the slow ones in. They can ride on top or something. As the survivors debate, you look across the field and see the undead moving closer. And though they aren't aware of your group yet, their attack is inevitable. The highway zombies are farther out but crossing the distance faster. Should Riley or anyone else drive off, the roar of an engine will awaken the horde. If your group runs, they'll leave all the supplies. Dealing with the horde provides your only chance at survival. And as the survivors stand around and exchange opinions on how to deal with the current situation, the infected wander closer. <laughs> we can't force anyone to stay, but if we work together, we can all survive. I say, hoping to convince the survivors not to leave. Radio button. Check. One of five. We need to stay together, everyone. You are now a team, the Templars. We need to fight together, kill together, survive together. Leaving is just going to lead to us all dying. Everybody, you're not leaving. No one leaves. Everyone fights. There's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight. I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. Radio button, unchecked. Two of five. All of you, shut up and get ready to fight. We kill these zombies together. I yell, threatening anyone who doesn't comply. Radio button, unchecked. Three of you elected me leader. And if you listen to my instructions and work together, we will survive. I shout, hoping to inspire the survivors. Radio button, unchecked. Four of five. No one is leaving, and everyone fights. That's an order. I shout in a commanding tone. Radio button, unchecked. Five of next, button. Hard decision to make. How to talk to everybody. No one is leaving. No one is you elect You elected me leader. And if you let all of you, shut up and get ready to fight. All of you, shut up and get ready to fight. There's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight. I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. There's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight. I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. We can't force anyone to stay. But if we work together, we can all survive. I say, hoping to convince the survivors not to leave. There's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight. I say, stay. We can, as the, we can fit some of the slow ones in our car. As the, we can't force anyone to stay. But if we work together, we can all survive. I say, hoping to convince the survivors not to leave. Radio button. Check. One of five. True. Yeah, we don't want to make anybody forced to stay. If I force these people to stay, they could betray us, stab us in the back. I think what we need to do 
though, is have some leadership here. We need to stick together if we're going to survive. We can't force anyone to stay, but if we work together, we can all survive, I say, hoping to convince the survivors not to leave. There's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight, I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. Radio button, uncheck, two of five. There's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight, I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. All of you, shut up and get ready to fight. We kill these zombies together, I yell, threatening anyone who doesn't comply. Radio button, all of you, shut up and get ready to fight. You elected me leader, and if you listen to my instructions and work together, we will survive, I shout, hoping to inspire the survivors. Radio button, uncheck, four of five. Hmm. Threatening people would not be a good idea yet. We haven't solidified ourselves that much, but we do know each other like a family. It's too late to run. That's true. They need to know that. Hmm. I think we just better make a decision and tell them that they can't. It's too late to run. We need to fight. All of you, all of you, there's no, there's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight, I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. Radio, all of you, shut up, there's no time to run. Our only chance now is to fight, I say, stating the clear facts in a rational way. Radio button, uncheck, two of five. Check. All of you, you will, no one, next, button, next, button. Using reason and logic has always served you well in convincing others. Okay. Our chance to escape has passed. Using reason and logic has always served you well in convincing others. Our chance to escape has passed. The infected will be here sooner than it would take for most of us to leave. Our highest probability for survival now is to work together, use our numbers and available weapons, and set ourselves up for success. The longer we wait and argue reduces the odds of survival. Let's all stop debating and use our time wisely to prepare. The survivors show glazed, unsure looks, and though no one argues or objects to your words, their worries remain. Low growls echo through the countryside, and a patch of clouds covers the sun, coating the area in shade. As leader, you. Assign the two teams. Radio button. Check. One of five. All right. I can assign these teams. Let the teams form on their own. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of five. I can let them form their own teams. Use the bandit chief's machine gun in this battle. Radio button. Uncheck. Three of five. Use the machine gun. I think it's a good idea. Let the teams use the bandit chief's machine gun in this battle. Radio button. Uncheck. Three of five. Check. Ask Rachel's opinion on how to arrange the teams. Radio button. Uncheck. Four of five. Ask Jaime's opinion on how to arrange the teams. Radio button. Uncheck. Five of five. Next, button. We're going to use the machine gun. This is too important to battle to worry about conserving ammunition, you say. We're gonna use the machine gun. There's too many of them, and we need to get these supplies that are around here. Rosie, I want you on that gun. Radio button, check, one of six. Driver, I want you on that gun. Radio button, Lopez, I want you on that gun. Radio, Rachel, I want you on that, Jamie, I want you on that gun. I use the machine gun. Radio button, uncheck, next, button. Rosie, you're on the machine gun. I use, next, button. Next. Assign the two teams. Assign the two teams. Rosie's eyes light up. You got it. Consider those. Show stats. Button. Rosie's eyes light up. You got it. Consider those zombies put to rest. Next. You. Oh, yeah. You got it. Those zombies are done. Assign the two teams. Radio button. Check. One of four. All right. We need to assign two teams. Let the teams form on their own. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of four. Ask Rachel's opinion on how to arrange the teams. Radio button. Uncheck. Ask Jaime's opinion on how to arrange the teams. Radio button. Uncheck. Four of four. I should include the rest of these leaders that will keep them working by my side. Ask Rachel's opinion on how to arrange the teams. Radio button. Uncheck. Three of four. Check. Let's ask Rachel first. Ask Hi Next. Next. Button. Rachel's eyes widen, and she fidgets, mouth twitching before she speaks. We need to split the group evenly, with a mix of adept shooters and some to engage in close combat. Our most capable survivors with firearms are me, Riley, and Jamie. I don't know about the others too well. I handed an AR-15 over to Brody, and he gave it to his sister. I'm under the impression they have hunting experience. Bailey is athletic and will do well in close with the infected. I've had no time to train Nathan and Benji, and sadly neither will fare well. Lopez has military training, so it's safe to assume he has experience with his weapons. Driver and Rosie both have serious weapons and know how to use them. Plus, they know how to use the Jeep's machine gun, proving their knowledge of range combat. I wish I could offer more information. Having spoken with Rachel, next you. Assign the two teams. Radio button. Check. One of three. Let the teams form on their own. Radio. Ask Jaime's opinion on how to arrange the teams. Radio button. Uncheck. Three Let's of three. speak to Jaime. He might have some Check. opinions. Next. Next. Button. Next. 
Jamie turns to peer at the group of survivors. Show stats. Button. Jamie turns to peer at the group of survivors. His eyes focused and mind churning. We don't have enough guns to go around. So some people will shoot and some will have to hang back and bash in some skulls if the infected get too close. Rachel knows how to shoot, but I don't know much about her group. Kelly and Parker aren't going to kill many. Woody has a rifle, and he's been out hunting a few times, but deer aren't trying to rip his throat out. Riley seems to know his way around a gun. Same with the Reverend. Oddly enough, Tommy's a wild card. He's decked out with army gear, but does he know how to use it? Lopez has training, so he'll definitely help. Driver and Rosie know their way around guns. They both just need to stay focused, so they should go on my team. Not sure I can put much faith in Brody and Madison, though Rachel gave the girl a rifle. After speaking with Jamie, you assign the two teams. Radio button. Let the teams form on their own. Ra Next. Button. Let the teams form on their own. Assign the two teams. Radio button. Check. One of two. I'm gonna assign these teams. Well, I hope it works. Let the teams form on their own. Next. Button. Next. Button. Rachel. Okay, everyone. I need you to group up over here. You say and point to the roadside. We don't have much time. As I call your name, join the team I assign. All right, everybody. Over here. When I call your name, you will join the group I assign you to. No exceptions. Work together as a team. Team one, highway, zero. None. Team two, field, zero. None. Unassigned, 19. Melee, baseball bat. I need to put people with melee skills close. They need to have overwatch with rifles. And I need to have damage and area of effect users behind the melee group but maybe they should be in front and put the people with the melee weapons behind them it's better to use bullets than to go hand to hand too early i need to be smart about this benji machete brody lacrosse stick church cold pot dante glock 19 pistol driver cold python jamie fn9 jillian glock 19 pistol. kelly cleaver lopez m4 carbine and m9 pistol madison ar15 nathan shotgun Nora, 38 special. Parker, knife. Rachel, MP5 submachine gun and M9 pistol. Rosie, bandit jeeps is .50 caliber machine gun. Riley, shotgun and Glock 19 pistol. Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. Woody, Winchester model 94 rifle. Looking over the teams, you. Assigned to team one, radio button, check, one of four. Looking over, assigned to team one, radio button, check, one of four. Assigned to team two, radio button, uncheck, two of four. Assigned to team one, radio button, check. One. Assigned to team two, radio button, uncheck. Unassign a survivor from a team, dim. Radio button, uncheck. Three, assign, unassign, clear the teams, dim. Radio, next, button. Clear the, unass, assign, assign, looking up, Woody, Tommy, M4, Riley, Rosie, bandit jeeps is .50 caliber machine gun. Let us spread out those who have melee weapons first. Then we'll give them some more protection. They're the weakest right now. Rachel, Parker, Not, Nora, Nathan, Madison, Lopez, M, Kelly, Cleaver, Jillian, Glock 19, Jamie, FN9, Driver, Cold Pike, Dante, Glock 9, Church, Cold Python, Revolve, Brody, Lacrosse Stick, Benji, Machete, Billy, Baseball Bat, Unassigned 19, Billy, Baseball Bat, Unassigned, Billy, Baseball Bat, Benji, Machete, Billy, Baseball Bat, Billy, Baseball Bat, Unassigned 9, Billy, Baseball Bat, Benji, Machete, Brody, Lacrosse, Church, Dante, Driver, Jamie, FN90 sub, Jillian, Kelly, Cleaver, Lopez, M, Madison, AR15, Nathan, Shot, Nora, 38, Parker, Knife, Rachel, MP5, Rosie, Bandit Jeeps, Riley, Shotgun, Tommy, M4, Woody, Winchester, looking over the teams, you. Assigned to team one, radio button, check. Assigned to team two, radio button, unassign a survivor, clear the teams. Dip. Next, button, next, button, uncheck. You assign. Bailey, radio button, check, one of 20. Bailey, you're gonna be on team one. Stay back. If somebody gets too close, take them down. What I mean, person, I mean zombie. Kill anything that gets too close. But do not step out. Let those with guns be in front of you. You're just there if anything breaks through your lines. You're on team one. Benji, radio button. Brody, radio button. Church, radio. Dante, driver. R Jamie, Ray, Jillian, Ray, Kelly, radio. Lopez, Madison, Nathan, Nora, radio. Parker, radio. Rachel, radio. Riley, Ray, Rosie. Tommy, radio, Woody, radio, on second thought, I don't assign anyone, radio button, uncheck, Tw next, button, next, button, check. You order Bailey to the highway team, she nods and strides to where the team will form. You got it, game. Team one, highway, one. Bailey, baseball bat. Team two, field, zero. Now I'm going to put another melee on the other team to keep it even. Also, so no one gets angry and thinks I'm picking favorites. None. Unassigned 18, Benji, Machete, Brody, Church, Cold Python, Dante, Driver, Jamie, Jillian, Glock, Kelly, Cleaver, Lopez, Madison, Nathan, Shot, Nora, 38, Parker, Knife, Rachel, MP5, Rosie, Bandage, Riley, Shot, Tommy, M, Woody, Winchester, looking over the teams, you, 
Benji, radio button, check. One of 19. Looking over, Woody, Winchester model, not Tommy, M4, Riley, shotgun, Rosie, bandit jeeps this point, Rachel, MP5 submachine gun and M9 pistol. Rosie, bandit jeeps this point, Riley, shotgun and Glock 19 pistol. Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. Woody, Winchester model, not looking over the teams. You assigned to team one. Benji, radio button, check. One of 19. Looking over the teams. You assigned to team one. Benji, radio button, check. One of 19. Brody, radio button, uncheck. Two of 19. Let's put, um, let's go to team two. Church, Dante, driver, Jamie, Jillian, R Kelly, Rady, Lopez, radio, Madison, Nathan, Nora, Rady, Parker, Rady, Rachel, radio, Riley, Rady, Rosie, Rady, Tommy, Rady, Woody. On second thought, I don't assign anyone. Rady, next, button, next, button, on second, Woody. Tommy, okay. radio button, uncheck. I can 17 do team of 19. one first. Rosie, radio, Riley, Rachel, Parker, Nora, Ray, Nathan, Mattis, Lopez, Kelly, Jillian, Jamie, Driver, Dante, Church, Brody, Benji, looking over the Woody, Winchester model, Tommy, M4, Riley, Shotgun, and Rosie, Bandit Jeep, Rachel, MP5, Submit, Parker, Knife, Nora, 38 Special, Nathan, Shotgun, Madison, AR, Lopez, M, Kelly, Cleaver, Jillian, Glock 19 Pistol, Jamie, FN90 Submachine, Driver, Cold Python, Reba, Dante, Glock 19 Pistol, Church, Cold Python, Reba, Brody, Lacrosse Stick, Benji, Machete, Unassigned 18, Benji, Machete, Got a person with baseball bat, so that's gonna be good. Unassigned 18. Benji, machete. Maybe some sharp weapon. Brody, lacrosse stick. Benji, machete. Let's go for a sharp weapon, so that's two melee fighters. Brody, church, Dante, driver, Co Jamie, FN, Jillian, Glock, Kelly, Lopez, M4, Madison, AR-15. Nathan, shotgun. Nora, 38 special, Parker, knife. Rachel, MP5 sub, Rosie, bandit jeeps this point, Riley, shotgun and Glock 19 pistol, Tommy, M4 car, Woody, Winchester, looking over the teams, you assigned to, Benji, looking over the teams, you assigned to team one, Benji, radio button, check, Brody, church, Dont, driver, R Jamie, Jillian, R Kelly, radio button, Lopez, radio button, uncheck, not, Madison, radio button, Nathan, radio, Nora, radio, Parker, radio, Rachel, radio, Riley, radio, Rosie, radio, Tommy, radio, Woody, radio button, on second thought, I don't, next, button, Looking, you order Benji to the highway team. He takes out his machete, eyes the blade with an uncertain and pensive focus, and treads over to the team. Benji, you're gonna be on team two. Stay back. You're the melee force. If anything breaks through our front lines, take them out fast as you can. Do not go in front of the shooters. Yes, game. Team one, highway two. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team two, field zero. None. Unassigned 17. Brody, lacrosse stick. Church, cold python revolver. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Driver, cold python revolver. Jamie, FN90 submachine gun. Jillian, Glock 19. Kelly, Cleaver, Lopez, M4, Madison, AR50. Nathan, shotgun. Nora, 38 spec. Parker, knife. Rachel, MP5 sub. Rosie, bandit jeeps this point. Riley, shotgun and Glock 9. Tommy, M4 carbine. Woody, Winchester model 90. Looking over the teams. You assigned to team one. Brody, radio button. Check. One of 18. Church, radio button. Dante, radio. Driver, radio. Jamie, radio. Jillian, Kelly, Lope, Mad Nathan, Nora. Parker, Rachel, Riley, Radio, Rosie, Radio, Tommy, Radio, Woody, Radio, on second thought, I don't assign anyone, Radio button, uncheck, next, button, on second thought, I don't assign anyone, Radio button, uncheck, 18 of 18, check, next, button, uncheck, Billy, baseball bat, Benji, machete, team 2, field, 0, Benji, machete, team 2, field, 0, Benji, Billy, baseball, team 1, highway, 2, Billy, baseball bat, Benji, machete, team 2, field, 0, I need to put a couple of melee on team two. None. Unassigned 17. Brody, lacrosse stick. Church, cold pipe, Dante, Glock 9, driver, cold pipe, Jamie, FN9, Jillian, Glock 90, Kelly, Cleaver, Lopez, M4, Car Madison, AR15, Nathan, shotgun, Nora, 38, Parker, knife, Rachel, MP5, Rosie, bandit jeeps, Riley, shotgun and Glock 19 pistol. Tommy, M4, Car Woody, Winchester, Ma looking over the teams, you. Assigned to team one, radio button, check. Assigned to team two, radio button, uncheck, two of four, check. Unison, clear the team. Next, button, clear the teams. Radio button, uncheck. Unison, a survivor from a team. Radio button, uncheck. Three, assigned to team two. Radio button, check. Assigned to team, looking over the teams. Woody, Winchester, Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. Woody, looking, unison, a clear the team. Next, button, clear the teams. Radio button, next, but next, button, uncheck. Brody, radio button, check. One of, you assign. Brody, radio button, check. One of 18. Church, radio button, uncheck. 2 of 18. Dante, radio button, uncheck. 3 of 18. Driver, radio button, uncheck. 4 of 18. Jamie, radio button, uncheck. 5 of 18. Jillian, radio button, uncheck. 6 of 18. Kelly, radio button, uncheck. 7 of 18. 
Lopez, radio button, uncheck. 8 of 18. Madison, radio button, uncheck. 9 of 18. Nathan, radio button, Nora, radio button, Parker, radio button, uncheck. 12 of 18. Rachel, radio button, Riley, radio, Rosie, radio button, Tommy, radio button, Woody, radio, on second thought, I don't assign anyone. Next, button. I need to remember what weapons people have. Next, button, on second thought, I don't assign anyone. Radio button, uncheck. 18 of 18. Check. Next, button. Uncheck. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team 2, field, 0. None. Unassigned 17. Brody, lacrosse stick. Unassigned Brody, lacrosse stick. Brody has a melee weapon. I think Brody will be a good person to be the first melee on Team 2. Church, cold python revolver. Church as a python. I'll put pistols next. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Driver, cold python revolver. Jamie, FN90 submachine gun. Jillian, Glock 19 pistol. I'll put the pistols, two on each team, then I'll put the submachine guns as heavy duty backup. Kelly, cleaver. A cleaver and a cross. So Kelly. Jillian, Kelly, cleaver. Kelly's cleaver and Brody's lacrosse stick will go on team two. Lopez, M4 carbine and M9 pistol. Madison, AR 15. Nathan, shotgun. Nora, 38 special. Parker, knife. Rachel, MP5 submachine gun and M9 Parker pistol. has a knife. Parker could be in. We need to have. It looks like we have five melees. Parker, knife. Rachel, MP5 submachine gun and M9 pistol. Rosie, bandit jeeps 0.50 caliber machine gun. Riley, shotgun and Glock 19 pistol. Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. Woody, Winchester model 94 rifle. Looking over the teams. You. Okay, we'll put three melee. A knife is really not very useful in this situation. So we'll put three melees on this team. And I'll go ahead and be on team one, I suppose. I'll balance out the melee. Assign to team one. Ra assign to team two. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of four. Assign to team one. Ra assign to team two. Radio button. Check. On a sinister. Clear the teams. Next. Button. Next. Button. Uncheck. So Brody and Kelly. And I don't remember who had the knife. Tommy. Radio button. Uncheck. 16 of 18. Woody, radio button, uncheck. Tommy, Rosie, Riley, radio button, Rachel, Parker, radio, Nora, radio button, Nathan, radio button, Madison, radio button, Lopez, radio button, Kelly, radio button, Jillian, radio button, Kelly, radio button, uncheck, 7 of 18. Put Kelly. Check. Lopez, Madison, Nathan, Nora, Parker, Rachel, Riley, Rosie, Tommy, Woody, on second, next, button, next, button, check. Team 1, highway, 2. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team two, field, one. Kelly, cleaver. Kelly with the cleaver. Kelly, you'll be on team two. Okay. Whatever you say, you're the leader. I appreciate you. Unassigned 16. All right, let's give you a little bit of melee backup. Brody, lacrosse stick. Brody will help you. You two work together. Watch your swings, though. Watch your swings. Unassigned 16. Brody, lacrosse stick. All right, let's get Brody. Church, Dante, Glock Put 19 pistol. Here. Brody, come up here. You're going to be on team two. Driver, Cole Pike, Jamie, Jillian, Lopez, Madison, A. Nathan, Shot, Nora, 38, Parker, Knife, Rachel, MP, Rosie, Bandit, Riley, Shotgun and Glock 19 pistol. Tommy, Woody, looking over, Brody, radio button, Church, radio button, Brody, looking over the teams. You assigned to team two. Brody, radio button, check, one of 17. Church, Don, Drop, J, J, Lopez, Madison, Nathan, Nora, R Parker, R Rachel, Radio, Riley, Radio, Rosie, Radio, B Tommy, Radio, B Woody, Radio, B on second thought, I, next, button, check. You order Brody to the field team. He walks with an air of assuredness and determination. Team one, highway, two. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team two, field, two. Brody, lacrosse stick. Kelly, cleaver. All right. Let's go ahead and assign some people. Those of you with pistols, watch your spacing and watch your crossfire. Remember, you got people to watch your back so you don't need to fire across our field. Do not shoot over anybody's head. We have two teams. So the purpose of our melee team is to protect our inside. Let them handle anything that gets through. Your job is to keep them from getting into the inside of our formation. Does everybody understand that? Unassigned 15. 
Church, Cold Python Revolver. All right, now it's time to start assigning my people who are good with guns. Church. Church, Cold Python Revolver. Church has got a Python revolver. I've seen him spin it in his hand. He should be really good with it. Unassigned 15. Church, Cold Python Revolver. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Church, Un Kelly, Brody, lacrosse stick. Kelly, Unassigned, Church, Cold Python Revolver. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Dante's got a Glock. Driver, Cold Python Revolver. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Driver, Cold Python Revolver. Driver's got a Python. Jamie, FN90 submachine gun. Jillian, Glock 19 pistol. Jillian's got another pistol. Lopez, M4 carbine and M9 pistol. Jillian, Lopez, M4 carbine and M9 pistol. M4, maybe use them for something a little bit more serious. I think I'm gonna stick to those with a single gun right now. Madison, AR-15. Rifle users are gonna be my overwatch. Nathan, shotgun. Shotgun is gonna be my heavy duty helper if anything gets close. I think I'll balance the shotgun against whoever has more melee. Nora, 38 special. Yeah, that's good. Nora with a 38 could be useful for medium range. Range, yeah, medium range would be perfect for with her. Parker, knife. Parker, you're gonna just go on whatever team. Looks like they need a little extra melee help. Rachel, MP5 submachine gun and M9 pistol. Rosie, bandit jeeps is .50 cali. Riley, shotgun and Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. Woody, Winchester model 94 rifle. Looking over the teams, you assigned to team two. Church, radio button, check, one of 16. All right, church, got church. Church, you're gonna go on team two. Dante, driver, radio button, unchecked, three of 16. Like the Lord says, a man cannot live by bread and water alone, but by every good fruits that the Lord provides. Jamie, Jillian, Lopez, Mattis, Nathan, Nora, Parker, Rachel, R Riley, R Rosie, radio button, Tommy, radio button, unchecked, 14 of 16, Woody, radio, on second thought, next, button, on second thought, next, button, check. You order church to the field team, he shuffles to the field, gazing at the horde of zombies in the distance. Team 1, highway, 2, Bailey, baseball bat, Benji, machete, team 2, field, 3, Brody, lacrosse stick, church, Cold python, re Kelly, cleaver, Unassigned 14. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Dante, I want you to back up church. Both of you, watch your field of fire and watch your crossfire. Sounds good, boss. Sounds good. Me with the crazy old preacher? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Driver, Cold Python Revolve. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Driver, Jamie, Jillian, Lopez, Madison, Nathan, Nora, 30, Parker, Knife. Rachel, MP, Rosie, Bandit Jeeps, Riley, Shotgun and Glock, Tommy, M4 Carbine and M19, Woody, Winchester, looking over the teams, you, Dante, radio button, check, one, Park, Rachel, radio button, unchecked, 10 of 15. I don't trust Church that much, so having Dante alongside him should keep it balanced. Dante is a little bit better in the head, and he has my back a little bit more than Church. I still don't trust the motivations that Church has. I think Dante is a good balancing point. Riley, radio, Rosie, Tommy, radio, Woody, radio, on second thought, I don't, next, button, check, Benji, machete, Billy, baseball, team one, highway, two, you order Dante to the field team, and with an excited hop, he moves from the line to the field, team one, highway, two, Billy, baseball bat, Benji, machete, team two, field, four, Brody, lacrosse stick, church, cold python revolver, Dante, Glock 19 pistol, Kelly, cleaver, I'm gonna put another pistol user in team two. Then team one, I'm gonna assign your pistol users. Dante, Kelly, Cleaver, unassigned 13. Driver, Cold Python Revolver. I think I'm gonna put Driver on the opposite team. He's a good shot, looks like. He looks dangerous. Unassigned 13. Driver, Cold Python Revolver. Jamie, FN90 submachine gun. Jillian, Glock 19 pistol. We got a Glock user already, so let's try to find a different weapon. Lopez, M4 carbine and M9 pistol. Madison, AR-15. Nathan, shotgun. Nora, 38 special. I think that's a good one. Nathan, way. Nora, 38 special. Nathan, Nora, 38 special. Nora, I'm gonna go ahead and assign you. Parker, knife. Nora, 38 special. Parker, Rachel, Rosie, Riley, shotgun and Glock. Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. 
Woody, Winchester Model 94 rifle. Looking over, driver, radio button, Jamie, radio button, Jillian, radio button, Lopez, radio button, Madison, radio button, Nathan, radio button, Nora, radio button, unchack, 7 of 14. Check. Parker, Rick, Rod, Rose, Tommy, Woody, on second thought, next, button. Next. When you mention Nora's name, Riley jumps out of line. My mom can't fight. She needs to stay in the car where it's safe. My mother can't be out there fighting like this. This is stupid. She's she's too old for this. Riley, will you shut up and stop treating me like a lame horse? Nora shouts. She stands with her cane and limps over to the field team. I know Wilma Rudolph, but I'm not helpless. Be quiet, Riley. I got this under control. I'm no old lady. And besides, I got to fight like everybody else. So shut your mouth. Respect your mother. Are we supposed to know who Wilma Rudolph is? Madison asks. Who's Wilma... what's her name? I miss Googling stuff. Parker says with a pathetic stare at his blank phone. I wish I could Google something right now. Go, I wish I had my iPhone. Wilma Rudolph was an Olympic sprinter back in the 50s. You kids are making me show my age. Nora says with a chirping chuckle. Now, I'm joining that team, right? You kids are just so stuck in your gadgets. You need to learn how to open up a book or an audio book or something and listen or read. You should let her fight if she wants to, Kelly says, giving you a hard look. Game isn't an ageist, Parker says. Nora, go ahead and join the field team. Radio button, check. One of two. Sorry, Nora, but it's best if you sit this one out. Next, button. Nora, you're gonna be on that team. Your life is at stake, too, and you seem like you're a good shot with that 38. You bet your damn life I am, young man. I'll be right there next to them. If you can, Nora, out of with all due respect, linger back a little bit. If you feel a little tired, go ahead and step back and retreat. Psh, who are you talking to? I'll be right out there with these young people. I've been shooting before most of you was born. Next, button. You assigned her to a team because it's unfair to treat Nora differently due to her age. Radio button, check, one of five. We need help from everyone in order to survive. Radio button, Uncheck. two of five. Most people want her to join a team. Radio button, we need help from everyone in order to survive. Radio button, Uncheck. two of five. Check. Most people, if she dies, it's one less survivor to work. When she dies, the zombies feeding off of her will. Next, button. Next, button. Drive, Nora hobbles over and stands with the field team. As she walks, Riley turns and grips his hair in two hands. He stifles a scream, which comes out as a long grunt. Nora hobbles over and stands with the field. Team 1, highway, 2. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team 2, field, 5. I need to put some more people on team 1. Brody, church, Dante, Kelly, Nora, 38 special. Unassigned 12, driver, cold python revolt, Jamie, F, Jillian, Glock, Lopez, M4, Madison, AR, Nathan, Shot, Parker, Knife, Rachel, MP, Rosie, Bandage, Riley, Shotgun, Tommy, M4, Carb, Woody, Winchester model, looking over the teams, you assigned to team 2. Driver, radio button, Jamie, Jillian, Lopez, Madison, Nathan, Parker, Rachel, R Riley, Rosie, Radio, Tommy, Radio, Woody, Radio, on second thought, I don't assign anyone, radio button, uncheck, 13 of 13, check, next, button, uncheck, team 1, highway, 2. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team 2, field, 5. Brody, lacrosse stick. Church, cold python revolt. Dante, Glock 19 pistol. Kelly, cleaver. Nora, 38 special. Unassigned 12. Driver, cold python revolver. Jamie, FN90 submachine gun. Now I need to get three good shooters with medium range. Maybe I should think about them at short range. I don't know how any of these people are good with a pistol, but they should be able to shoot pretty far. Jillian, Glock 19 pistol. But maybe I should tell them. All right, folks, those of you using pistols, if you're good with them, then make sure you put your targets down. Aim for their head. Put it right through their forehead if you can. Don't worry about disabling them. We have the machine guns for that. Those of you with pistols, single shots. Control your field of fire. Take your time. Put each one down. If you need to put another round in their head, that's fine. But make sure you're clear when you step forward. Do not cross into other people's field of fire. That's how people get killed. Lopez, M4 carbine and M9 pistol. Lopez is pretty heavily armored. Madison, AR-15. Nathan, shotgun. I put a shotgun and I put that python on one team. Could make it a little too heavy. Parker, knife. I could balance it out by giving them another melee user. Rachel, MP5 submachine gun and M9 pistol. Rosie, bandit jeeps 0 caliber machine gun. Riley, shotgun and Glock 19 pistol. Tommy, M4 carbine and M1911 pistol. Riley, Tommy, Woody, Winchester model 94 rifle. Looking over the teams, you. Hmm. 
Assign to team one. Radio button. Check. Assign to team two. Radio button. Uncheck. Give me some two hard four. decisions. Check. Woody, with looking over. Assign to team one. Rate. Assign to team two. Unassign a survivor from a team. Radio button. Uncheck. Clear the teams. Radio. Next. Button. Next. Button. Next. Let's get driver on team one. Gotta balance. Start balancing it up. Driver. Radio button. Check. You assign. Show stats. Button. You assign. Driver. Radio button. Check. One of thirteen. Driver, I'm gonna put you on team one. That's fine with me. I don't care where you put me. Jamie, radio button, uncheck, two of 13. Tommy, Woody, on second thought, next, button. Check. You order driver to the field team. He nods and walks over to the spot. Team one, highway, two. You order drive, team one, highway, two. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, machete. Team two, field, six. Thought I put you on that other team. I thought I put you on team one. Brody, lacrosse stick, church, oh, cold python revolver. Oh, actually, I made a mistake. Dante, Glock 19, driver, cold python revolver. Driver, sorry, I put you on the wrong team. I need to unassign you. Kelly, Nora, unassigned 11. Jamie, FN 90 sub, unassigned 11. Jamie, Jillian, Glock 9, Lopez, M4, Madison, AR5, Nathan, Shock, Parker, Knife, Rachel, MP5, Rosie, Bandit Jeeps, Riley, Shotgun, Tommy, M4, Car Woody, Winchester, looking over the team. Jamie, radio, looking over the teams. You assigned to team two. Jamie, radio button, check, one of 12. Looking over the teams. You assigned to team two. Jamie, radio button, check, one of 12. Looking over the, Jamie, Julia, Lopez, Madison, Nathan, R Parker, R Rachel, R Riley, R Rosie, R Tommy, R Woody, R on second thought, I don't assign anyone, radio button, next, button, on second thought, I don't assign anyone, radio button, uncheck, 12 of 12, check, next, button, uncheck, Woody, Winchester, Ma looking, assigned, assigned to team two, unassign a survivor, clear the teams, unassign a survivor from a team, radio button, uncheck, three of four, check, clear the teams, Next. Button. Next. Billy. Benji. Radio. Brody. Radio button. Uncheck. Church. Radio. Dante. Radio button. Driver. Radio button. Uncheck. Six of nine. Check. You want us in. Nora. Radio. Unsec. Next. Button. Loka. Driver. Why don't you leave that team? Driver says nothing and walks over to the unassigned group. Team one. Highway. Two. Billy. Baseball bat. Benji. Machete. Team two. Field. Five. Brody, lacrosse stick, church, cold python, Re Dante, Glock 19, Kelly, Cleaver, Nora, 38 special, unassigned 12, driver, cold python revolver, Jamie, FN 90 submachine gun, Julia, Lo, Matt, Nathan, Sh Parker, Knife, Rachel, MP5, Rosie, Bandit Jeep, Riley, Shotgun, Tommy, M4 cart, Woody, Winchester model, looking over the teams, you, assigned to team 1, radio button, check, 1 of, assigned, assigned to team 1, radio button, check, 1 of 4, As un clear the teams, next, button, next, Driver, radio button, check. One All right, team. driver, you're going to go to team one. Sorry about that earlier. I was thinking really hard. Woody, radio button, on sec, next, button. Check. Team one, highway, three. You order driver to the highway team. He nods and walk, team one, highway, three. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering why you were putting so many single shooters on one team. Yeah, sorry about that. Billy, baseball bat. Benji, Machete, Driver, Cold Pipe, Team 2, Brody, Lacrosse Stick, Church, Cold Python, Dante, Glock 19 Pistol, Church, Cold Python Revolver, Dante, Glock 19, Kelly, Cleaver, Nora, 38 Special, Unassigned 11, Jamie, FN 90 Submachine Gun, Jillian, Glock 19 Pistol, Jamie, Jillian, Glock 19 Pistol, Jillian, you're next. Go ahead and join Driver. Again, you two, watch your field of fire. Single target shots. Don't go wild. One bullet, one zombie. Jamie, FN90 Submit, Jillian, Glock 19 Pistol. Lopez, M4, Madison, AR15. Nathan, Shotgun, Parker, Knock, Rachel, MP5 Sub, Rosie, Riley, Shotgun and Glock 19 Pistol. Tommy, M4, Woody, Whip, looking over the teams. You assigned to Team 1. Jamie, radio button, check. Jillian, radio button, uncheck. 2 of 12. Check. Jamie, Jillian, Lopez, Madison, R Nathan, radio, Parker, radio button, uncheck. Rachel, radio button, uncheck. Riley, radio, Rosie, radio, Tommy, radio, Woody, radio, on second thought. I don't decide. Next, button. Check. You order Jillian to the highway team, and she walks over to the team without a word. Team one, highway, four. Billy, baseball bat. I need another short range shooter to balance out this team. I might have to overpower it a little bit, but I'll balance it with the range. Benji, machete. Driver, cold python revolver. Jillian, Glock 19 pistol. 
Team 2, Field, 5. Brody, Lacrosse Stick. Church, Cold Python Revolver. Dante, Glock 19 Pistol. Kelly, Cleaver. Nora, 38 Special. Unassigned 10. Jamie, FN90 Submachine Gun. Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Jamie, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Madison, AR-15. Nathan, Shotgun. Parker, Knife. Rachel, MP5 Submachine Gun and M9 Pistol. Rosie, Bandit Jeeps' .50 caliber machine gun. Riley, Shotgun and Glock 19 Pistol. Tommy, M4 Carbine and M1911 Pistol. I'll keep the shotguns evenly dispersed. Woody, Winchester Model 94 Rifle. Looking over the teams. You assigned to Team 1. Jamie, radio button, check. Looking, Woody, Tommy, Riley, Rosie, Rachel, Parker, Nathan, Madison, AR-15. Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Jamie, FN90 Submachine Gun. Unassigned 10. Jamie, FN90 Submachine Gun. Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Starting to get a little heavy. Two guns. This team is a little heavy, so they're going to have to take another melee user. Jamie, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Jamie, FN9, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Jamie, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Madison, AR-15, Nathan, Parker, Knife. Nathan, Sh Madison, AR-15, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Lopez is good. He'll keep them all together. Working with driver, it should be good. Madison, Nathan, Parker, N Rachel, MP, Rosie, Bandit, Riley, Shotgun, Tommy, M4, Car Woody, Winchester, M looking over the team. Jamie, Radio, Lopez, Radio Button, Uncheck, 2 of 11. Check. Lopez, you have military experience. You got two guns. Y'all are pretty heavy already. This should help. Madison, Nathan, Parker, R Rachel, R Riley, Rosie, R Tommy, R Woody, Radio Button, On Second Thought, I don't, Next, Button, Check. All right, everybody. I have your single shooters. I got your melee. I'm gonna start giving you all some heavy duty firepower. Now, those of you with weapons with auto fire, I don't necessarily want you to use that function. Try to use your single shots or burst if you have to. But no matter what, none of those can reach our line of defense. So put them down. If you need to use more than one shot, do so. But please watch your field of fire. Give each other plenty of space. Those of you in melee, do not get out in front of the shooters. Madison, radio button, uncheck, two of 10. Nathan, radio button, Parker, radio button, Rachel, Ra Riley, Rosie, radio button, Tommy, radio, Woody, radio, on second thought, I don't assign anyone, radio, Woody, Tom, Rosie, radio button, uncheck, Madison, AR-15, zombie exit a safe haven, head, shows, you order Lopez to the highway team, he puts, team one, highway, five, Billy, baseball bat, Benji, Machete, Driver, Cold Python, Jillian, Glock 19, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Team 2, Field, 5. Brody, Chert, Dante, Kelly, Nora, 38 Special. I think I'll put at least two heavy-duty weapon users, but I'm going to go a little light on the first choice for Team 1 since I just gave them a double gun user. Unassigned 9. Jamie, FN90 Submachine Gun. Madison, AR-15. I need to assign maybe an Overwatch already? Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Jamie, Madison, AR-15. Madison, you got Overwatch. Over what? Look for anybody who's about to get jumped on by a zombie. Put a bullet in its head. Oh, oh, like those video games. Yes. Jamie, Madison, AR-15. Nathan, Parker, Knife, Rachel, M. Rosie, Bandit Jeepses, Riley, Shotgun and Glock 19 Pistol. Tommy, M4 Car, Woody, Winchester, looking over the team. Jamie, radio button, Madison, radio button, unchecked, two of 10. Check. Nathan, Parker, Rachel, Riley, radio, Rosie, radio, Tommy, radio, Woody, radio, on second thought, next, button. On second thought, next, button, check. Team one, I'm gonna give you somebody with a shotgun. That's if anything gets too close, shotgun users, spray a group of targets and then back off and let those either in melee or those with rifles take them down. Do not point that shotgun inside of our formation. Let the melee people take it down. Nathan, radio button, uncheck, two of nine. Jamie, looking over the teams, you assigned to team one. Jamie, radio button, looking over the teams, you assigned to team one, team one, highway, six. Billy, baseball bat, Benji, machete, driver, cold python revolver, Jillian, Glock 19 pistol, Lopez, M4 carbine and M9 pistol. Jillian, Lopez, M4 Carbine and M9 Pistol. Madison, AR-15. Team 2, Field, 5. Brody, Lacrosse Stick. Church, Colt, Dante, Kelly, Cleaver. Nora, 38 Special, Unassigned 8. 
Jamie, FN90 submachine gun. Nathan, shotgun. Nathan, bring your shotgun. You got it. Parker, knife. Rachel, Rosie, Riley, Tommy, M. Woody, Winchester, looking over the team. Jamie, radio, Nathan, radio button, uncheck, two of nine. Check. Parker, Rick, Riley, Rosie, Tommy, Woody, on second thought, next, button. Check. Okay, now that I have a shotgun user, I got Overwatch, I got shooters. Since I'm here, maybe I should assign one more heavy gun user for this team. Keeping it balanced as much as I can. Team one, highway, seven. Billy, baseball bat, Benji, machete, drive, Jilly, low, Matt, Nathan, team two, field, Brody, lacrosse stick, church, cold python revolver, Dante, G Kelly, cleaver. Well, folks, looks like we have run out of time. Appreciate having you all here. We will continue next week on Zombie Exodus Safe Haven, Episode 4. We will complete assigning our two teams, and we will take on the zombies approaching. Until then, folks, keep gaming excessively with Mike every day, and I'll hear you next time. Take care.